So Ubisoft Forward is happening very, very soon, and we may even get a tease on the much anticipated Star Wars open world game. On their website, on Ubisoft's website, it reads, Tune in on June 12th, 2023 for a new Ubisoft livestream event, featuring exciting news on upcoming games from our teams around the world. So Ubisoft Massive's open world Star Wars game is a long, long way from being done. We still have the open world Avatar Frontiers of Pandora game from that exact team to be released before we know anything about the Star Wars RPG. However, this year we should definitely get gameplay on the upcoming Avatar Frontiers of Pandora game with a somewhat solid release date for that game and I'm hoping it does get released in 2023. We also know that earlier this year Ubisoft Massive were looking for playtesters in Sweden for the Star Wars game and the tweet read, We are looking for playtesters for Star Wars and if you live in Malmo, we would love for you to sign up. Now, Mamo is in Sweden, and this was on December 16, 2022. Now, that playtest phase may be over now, or perhaps it is still going on. We won't know anything uh, unless there's a leak or an official statement because of the NDAs, and of course, they wouldn't want that kind of information to get out. However, what this does mean is that there most likely was a section of the game or a level that they rendered and made that was used for playtesting. Maybe some characters shown off in a cutscene and some get basic gameplay elements. Whatever they use to playtest the game could potentially be used in a teaser for the game at the Ubisoft Forward event this year or maybe even next year. And to officially announce it to the world, as a lot of people don't even know about this game's existence yet, as the game was not announced at a show or a conference, but rather on Twitter and the Ubisoft website. We have talked about the cloud system that the game could be using called Ubisoft Scalar Technology, as well as rumored gameplay and story mechanics, and the fact that this game is rumored to be galaxy sized. That info is all in my other videos about this game, which I'll leave in the description and comment section below. Now on January January 1st, Julian Garaiti, the creative director on the project, said that 2023 was going to be a huge year for the game. Now, he wasn't saying this as a tease of a reveal for the game, but rather from a development standpoint. This year, they are set to make big waves with the game in terms of its development, so there could definitely be a small Star Wars tease at the showcase of um, this year, as Ubisoft does need to gain some hype for their studios and upcoming games, as they have fallen in a slump over the last couple of years with hardly any major games releasing in 2022 and nothing of significance so far in 2023. We also know that Ubisoft is going to be using a Ghostwriter AI tool from now on to be used to write scripts for their NPC characters. Now this will most likely just be the background dialogues that you hear when you walk past an NPC which you will hear countless times but for me of course I would say I'd prefer a handwritten dialogue by the creative team but a lot of people have talked about how poor the dialogue is in these Ubisoft games and Valhalla is the example I've been using recently as the game was dreadfully boring to me. The dialogue wasn't that great and engaging and I didn't really even notice the NPC background chatter but with the Star Wars game I want dialogue that matches the world and immerses you in it exactly how Hogwarts Legacy did. The background dialogue was great in Hogwarts Legacy with the ghost that wanders around the school pulling pranks on students, the gargoyles that talk in front of the headmaster's office, the NPC speaking about events like what's happening and what's going on with the Ministry of Magic and just funny things you can hear that really make you feel like the world is alive. The Star Wars game must must, must learn from Hogwarts Legacy because that was exactly how you adapt a franchise into an insane experience for fans. This is what Ubisoft have to say on their Ghostwriter AI on their website article. Ghostwriter is the result of conversations with narrative designers who revealed a challenge, one that Ben identified could be solved with an AI tool. Crowd chatter and barks are central features of player immersion in games, NPCs speaking to each other, enemy dialogue during combat, or an exchange triggered when entering an, an area, or provide a more realistic world experience and make the player feel like the game around them exists outside of their own actions. However, both require time and effort from screen writers that could be spent on other core plot 
items. Ghost Rider frees up that time but still allows the script writers a degree of creative control. Rather than writing first draft versions of themselves, Ghostwriter lets script writers select and polish the samples generated. Ben explains, this way the tech is a tool to be used by the teams to support them in their creative journey, with every interaction and feedback originating from the members who use it. So it seems the main purpose of it is to aid the creative rather than to become the creative at this moment in time. The technology now available by Ubisoft for this Star Wars game is very, very impressive. They've got Ghostwriter AI, Ubisoft Scalar technology, whether or not they will find a way to incorporate or leave room for the Assassin's Creed Infinity-like hub technology to link future Star Wars games together, the Snowdrop engine, and a team with a decade plus experience with that engine. They now even have a somewhat blueprint of an amazing franchise turned into a brilliant game with Hogwarts Legacy. The feedback of that game can be used to enhance the Star Wars game, and not only that, but the original two KOTOR games can be also used to aid them and see exactly what people loved about those games and what made them special. But but as well prepared as they might be, their track record has not been excellent by any standard over the last decade. They have had many failures and it seems Ubisoft is content in just making an addictive, grindy, open world game with microtransactions and the skin of a franchise that is popular. Hopefully, this will be different and hopefully Avatar is an amazing game which then sets up an even brighter future for Star Wars by Massive Entertainment. Guys, if you like this video, please go ahead and subscribe and like the video. Leave a comment in the comment section below about how excited you are for this game and what kind of features do you want to see in this game? What kind of storylines do you want to see in this Star Wars RPG? And I'll also leave my other videos on this game in the description and comment section below. Take it, guys.